All right, what we're looking at is the back of the, of the fuselage of the Sky Hunter. Um, one of the things that has been uh, complained about is uh, on the Skywalker with the exact same motor mount is that it's able to fall off. Um, if you look at it, it's kind of thin. It's probably about a oh, little less than a quarter inch between a quarter and eighth um, piece of plywood. Um, it's usually just held on my contact cement. I'm going to use Gorilla Glue here. If you look at it, Gorilla Glue, thumbs up. Uh, nothing beats it as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to do a little extra reinforcement instead of just sticking it on with glue. I've got a dowel there that in just a moment I'm going to go and cut down. And uh, I'm going to cut it down. And uh, I think I've made those pieces about one and a half to two inches. Um, I'm showing here that the Gorilla Glue needs to have water to activate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on at this point. I put the uh, motor mount on. And in a moment I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill two holes. The dowel rod that I'm using, by the way, is one quarter inch. Get ready to go cut it and come back. I've got, I went and cut the actual dowels down to about two inches. If you see the pieces off there to the side of me, I'm going to do, do two, drill two holes on the outer portion of this, um, the mount. I'm going to drill them down uh, about two inches into that. And then I'm going to pull that mount off and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lift it, uh, re drill down in to make sure they're nice and wide. Um, I'm going to put the uh, Gorilla Glue down in there to hold it on with the dowels because um, I want to give some length to those. You could conceivably use something else if you have another type of glue. Um, just great EPO is very particular about um, what type of glue sticks to it. Um, right there I'm just making sure that I blow the holes out so there's no um, sawdust down inside. Um, when I'm done, because I want the glue to stick the best as, as possible. Um, so, anyways, to make this glue work, the, the wood or whatever surface has to be wet. You could use a spray bottle or you could use an acid brush with water. Uh, I couldn't find my spray bottle that morning, so I was using an acid brush. I'm just going to uh, paint on lots of water with acid brush. And then I'm going to come back right now and I'm putting the, the glue inside the holes and then I'm putting the dowels inside there. I'm dipping the glue, uh, the dowels inside the glue and putting them in. I'll probably pull them back out here in a second and dip them back in water because I want them to be wet and I just realized that so. There's one side and I'm going to pull out the other and do the same thing. Again you could do this with an acid brush, you could do this with a spray bottle, um, but in order for the Gorilla Glue to foam up it needs to and activate it needs to have water. Um, so, and right here, I'm just making sure the glue is all the way around the dowels on both sides. So that's it. And I twisted it and now I'm going to paint on the back side of it, plenty of glue once again, and I'm putting plenty of water on the surface of the foam as well, just to make sure it activates and down in the holes. Um, if you don't do this uh, with a spray bottle or water, the uh, glue will become ineffective. And again, you could use other glues. I just don't know what works with the gray EPO. Um, the hard part is not everything sticks to it. I don't know if they have silicone in it or what. It's not like the regular white EPO. Um, it's just different. Not everything sticks to it. Another time I'm brushing again to make sure everything's wet. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and brush plenty of glue on there. I'm making sure that I get it on all surfaces. Uh, that was a piece of hair from the acid brush I was getting off. Uh, important thing is to keep away from the edges on the outside of this because this stuff does foam up pretty well. You don't want it oozing out everywhere. Um, I probably could have put this down at this point. Um, I've got to put some on fuselage. I could have just put the piece down. I don't know why I kept holding it, but anyways, I did. <laughs> if you notice, I'm putting it everywhere around there just to get a nice good coating. Um, and I'm going to put some down inside the holes as well, so that way when it expands, it'll uh, come back out. And I'm also going to put it on the dowels on that um, motor mount, so that way when I shove it in, the, the glue is not just on the holes on the outside. It's also going to be on the dowels as well. So here I go. I'm going to do that right now.
there they are. By the way, it's a different wood glue. It's not like normal wood glue. Uh, you heard me earlier say it foams. It's it's a uh, it can be messy. Uh, you'll see that near the end where it starts to ooze out. But here it is. Almost done. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna dip some more water in there, make sure everything is pretty wet. Um, wish I would have had a spray bottle. I <laughs> was regretting it about this point because a spray bottle is a lot easier than trying to use an acid brush to activate it. Um, anyways, neither here nor there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna shove it in. And I'm gonna seed it in there really good. That's real important for the first couple minutes that you get all the excess glue off because this stuff oozes everywhere. Don't worry about the holes. You can always redrill those later. It's uh, if you have a drill. If you don't, well, that's something totally different. But um, I'm just going to plan on re. I just redrilled those holes when I was done. So I'm getting all the excess glue off. All right. The very last step is, I usually like to put a clamp on this, um, and then I put a piece of plastic over where it's at, and I want to clamp it with plastic on it so it doesn't get to the clamp. You don't want to clamp that and glue it. Uh, when you pull it off, the plastic won't stick to the glue, um, but it is really strong. And I usually leave that on there all day. So just a nice light clamp, um, and then you're done. That's it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up.